I can't believe I stayed up for that nonsense last night. Holy shnikes. I, I have my little, my phone tells me to go to bed by 920. It yells at me if I'm not asleep by then. Uh, yeah, debate started at nine. Uh, I stayed up, watched it, got aggravated. Uh, because I got aggravated, maybe it made it more difficult for me to fall asleep. So then I had to watch uh, Hannity interview a couple people. And eventually he's like, I got to shut this off before I even get more ticked off. All right, I'm going to go through it uh, candidate by candidate across the board. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to start off with the moderators. Um, how shall I put this? Uh, you sucked. You're terrible. Had zero control of what was going on. Stuart Varney, I, I don't even know why he was there. I, I have no idea why he was there. Uh, the, the lady, I can't remember her name. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, the, the, the one from Univision. Um, why do we have so many damn questions about Latinos for crying out loud? I, I, I don't get it. But why? Uh, why don't we have, why, well, you know what, we're going to put up a Native American moderator as well, and they get to ask questions. Well, why don't we, we, we divide the country up in a little more, more pieces there? I, 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 terrible. And, and Dana Perino, some of the questions that she was asking, cutting people off, not letting people respond, sometimes letting them respond, not letting them respond, was awful. It was an absolute shit show. Uh, of a debate, downright embarrassing. I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, the donkeys are sitting back right now, laughing their heads off. So, <laughs> this, this, look at this. They, they're happy. You want to know why? Because they're going to get to run against Trump. They're going to get to run against Trump, and that's what they wanted from the beginning. But, 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 did you see the poll this past week? Washington Post poll? Uh huh. Uh, okay, if you honestly believe that poll, because there's more than one that came out, well, it's fine. You can believe whatever you want. You can believe in Santa Claus. You can believe in the tooth fairy. I, I don't care. It's up to you. But that's who who they want to run against. Anyway, anyway, and the funny thing is, there's good candidates up there. Good candidates. I, I want to start off with um, Doug Burnham down at the end. You know, at the end of the debate. You know, you had the uh, you know, Hannity and, and, and uh, you know, what's her name there? The one that used to work for Trump, one of the spokespeople there, the one who fought with her husband. I can't even remember her name. She annoys the hell out of me. Uh, it'll come to me in a second. Sorry, didn't get enough sleep last night. Um, you know, all right, some of these candidates have got, they must drop out of the race. Wait a second. You've got a guy that was up there on the debate stage last night. And granted, he, he might not have the name recognition. Uh, that everyone else has might not have the name recognition that everyone else has uh, comes from from North Dakota. Um, you want to take a look at his CV. You want to take a look at his resume and see what this guy's done with his life. Did you notice that every single one of his answers was um, thoughtful? Was 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 thoughtful, made sense. The guy knew his stuff. Hey, Sean, well, why, why are you so interested in getting him kicked off? Hey, Dana. Why do you constantly cut him off? Why? Because he makes too much sense? Do, do, do your overlords there at, at back at, at Fox, they telling you to, to yank him off? I, I don't know. Anyway, Chris Christie. Um, again, he had, he's being Chris Christie. Uh, you know, Chris Christie, I think at some point in time, some point in time, he's going to leave politics. And, and I'm not kidding you. Maybe people don't know this, maybe all around the country. He was actually up for being, there's a big sports station, uh, sports talk station in New York, the fan, uh, WFAN, the fan. They were actually considering him for one of the, uh, the drive time slots for a period of time. I'm not kidding. And, and again, I think he, I think he'd be great at that. Uh, I, I do. Uh, and listen, he, I like some of the points that he made. He got way too freaking rah, rah. Again, got to go in Ukraine, bombs away type of crap. Um, but, you know, he, he wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. Um, who was next down the line? Was it Nikki Haley was, was next? I think Nikki Haley was. Um, her answers at the beginning to question, she couldn't answer them. If you go back to the beginning of the debate, and obviously all, all the networks, all Fox wants to talk about this morning were jabs. 
was the fact that Nikki Haley told Vivek Ramaswamy that every single, the more he talks, the dumber she feels. What about her answers to questions at the beginning? She couldn't answer stuff. She was completely unprepared. And again, you see this in some of the candidates. They, they, they're trying to recall in their mind. They're trying to recall in their mind what their handlers told them to say and how to answer a question. Um, if you do that, then guess what? You're not prepared. You're, you're not prepared. You don't know the material. You haven't studied hard enough. Now, I'm asked this. Masses, you know, Chris, you do podcasts, you do shows, you do this, you appear there, you know, you know, uh, how do you, you know, how do you stay abreast of all this stuff? Well, you know, listen, I, I come up with ideas for the show over the course of the week, pop into my mind. I say, oh, that would sound good on the show. Um, do you think I write them down? Nah, I don't write them down because it's not natural. I, I thought of it then. Okay. I, I, I know my material. Okay. Yeah. Do I have to sometimes here? Am I quoting from some article, whatever it may be that I will read from? Yes. But uh, it's important to have command over what you're talking about. And, and these are people that are running for the presidency. And, and I'm sorry. I thought Nikki Haley was woefully unprepared. Oh, but, you know, did she have some good one liners? Yes. But if that's, you know, what impresses you about uh, presidential candidates are one liners, well, you know, have at it. Have at it. Anyway, uh, next to, who was next to Nick? Was it Vivek? Was, was Vivek standing next to Nick, I think? Or was it, no, was he, Vivek was to the right of DeSantis. It doesn't matter. We'll, we'll do Vivek now. Um, he, I mean, he's, he's very good. He knows, there's no doubt about it. He's, he's highly uh, intelligent. Um, sometimes the way he answers questions, I, I can understand that might, many people might feel, uh, that he is abrasive or maybe a little bit too eager. Um, it may come off like that, but again, I thought he did a, a decent job and, and one cannot say that he doesn't know the material. One of the things that I think he's, I think he wish he probably didn't glob onto from the beginning. Um, is, you know, this, he, this, this Trump thing that he's got going on, you know, I think Trump was a fantastic president. Yeah. I, th I think Trump did many good things as president, but I don't think that he's not by any stretch of the imagination, a fantastic president. The guy shut down the freaking country and spent trillions of dollars that we don't have. Trillions and trillions of dollars in response to COVID, which was completely unnecessary, listening to people that he put in charge of his COVID response team. And the guy who was in charge of his COVID response team is actually up there on the debate stage. That was Mike Pence. So, no. Uh, I'm sorry. You, you know, you, know you, you don't get you don't get five stars as a president when you had a couple good years. Don't work that way. Uh, again, so uh, his attachment to that drives me a little bit bonkers. Um, but again, uh, has command of the issues, no doubt. I, I, uh, I think that DeSantis have a um, great night. I did. Who, who is the most presidential up there by far? I, I, by far was DeSantis. By far. It wasn't even close. Uh, as far as his response, I, you know, kept his cool when he was there. Again, his CV is, as far as a presidential candidate is concerned, is fantastic. I think the only things that are, you know, I would put against him is the fact that he went to Ivy League schools, but at least he paid for them on his own. So I give him kudos for that. But, uh, you know, military service across the board, his, his answers to a, a myriad of questions. And I happen to agree with the guy. I happen to agree with the guy that, you know, you're going to have to, we're going to have to do something when it comes to uh, Mexico. And these cartels who are kicking our ass right now. They're, they're killing tens of thousands of our people every single year, and we're not doing a darn thing. And again, Vivek also makes a point as well. It's the demand side, uh, side too. We're not handling it here in this country. You know, people are getting, you know, addicted to these drugs and, you know, it's, it's a downward spiral. Uh, and again, I 
another story we'll get to a little bit later on in one of the other podcasts, what they're asking people to do in New York at this point in time, you wouldn't believe it. But anyway, I'll say that for another day. So yes, yeah, so I think DeSantis did an absolutely fantastic uh, job in, in the debate. Um, what else do we have? We'll go down the line. Oh, Tim Scott. Uh, Tim Scott, you know, again, trying to, tr- trying to, I guess his, his handlers said you got to be a little bit more forceful. Um, he's pretty much been so far, how shall I put it, almost the Mr. Rogers uh, candidate that uh, has been running. And he wanted to, you know, roll around a little bit and throw some punches. And he had some back and forth, some serious back and forth with uh, Nikki Haley for a period of time. And I like Tim Scott a lot. I do. And I'm going to give him kudos for probably the most point, most intelligent uh, point of the entire night. One of the most intelligent points of the entire night. And it put a smile on my face because this is something that we have talked about here on this show, something that I've written about in my newsletter. I've had columns on this. And he was talking about Talking about the demise, the demise of the black family here in the United States is what he got into. I, I think it, it started off with a bit of a, a back and forth in regards to the school curriculum in the state of Florida and, and some of the things that, uh, that, that got put into the media that DeSanta sh- shot right down. And Tim Scott actually, you know, he talked about where we are today and how it all came from the great society programs in the 1960s under Lyndon Johnson. Yeah, I wrote a, a, a column about this, several columns about this, Lyndon Johnson being the most consequential president in, in, in the last, you know, 67, well, now it's, yeah, going back uh, 60, 70 years now. Most consequential in regards to what he has put forward great society programs and what it's done to this country, an absolute disaster, breaking up family units. And that was a very, very intelligent point. And I'm going to give him kudos uh, for that. Um, going down the line, who do we have? Oh, good old Mike Pence. You know, Mike Pence reminds me of, and again, I, that might be, he's a nice guy, okay? Mike Pence is a... You know, he is, he is, you know, those, those dolls that you back in the, the 1970s, you had the string in the back and you would pull it, you'd pull the string and it would come out with some, you know, statement, whatever. I love you, whatever it may be. Well, Mike Pence is that doll. But you know what the doll is? Again, I'm a sub reference again. One of the best kid shows of all time, in my opinion, The Muppet Show. The Muppet Show. Where else could you have a, a show where you would get guest stars like Elton John for crying out loud for kids? But anyway, neither here nor there. It was hilarious. Great show. Loved it. But uh, do you remember one of the characters on The Muppet Show was Sam the Eagle? It was Sam the Eagle. It was like this, you know, super patriotic uh, Muppet that they had on there. That's basically Mike Pence. He's like the Sam the Eagle puppet with the string on the back with the, the canned super Republican lines from way back when. But anyway, uh, all in all, people, um, I say it's a great night for the Republican part. No. Now, I, you know what debate I'm actually looking forward to? I'm, I'm looking for DeSantis uh, Dur- Dur- uh, versus Gavin Newsom. That, that's the one I'm actually looking for forward to at some point in time. D- d- do me a favor. Can, can, can you, and again, can you get some moderators up there that can get actual control of the situation? I, 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 you know, can, can, is it that hard? I mean, people, I, I, grow up for crying out loud. As, act, act like an adult when you're up there. Let somebody finish speaking, okay, and then step in. But that last night, I mean... I mean Again, arguing over one another. I couldn't understand what was going on. Probably about 20% of the time, 20, 25% of the time. Not a good look at all. Anyway, decision 2024, debate shit show. Watchdog on wallstreet.com.